Hi everyone, I'm Miss Larkman. I am Head of Maths at St Joseph's and I will also be teaching you for half of the pure unit and I teach statistics in unit two. I look forward to meeting you all. Take care. Hi everyone, I'm Mrs Evans and I'll be teaching you for half of the pure unit with Miss Larkman and also the mechanics section of the unit two paper. I look very much to meeting you in September. Take care. Hi, my name's Liv and I do A-Level Maths at St Joseph's. I chose to do this because I really enjoyed the course at GCSE and further maths and I wanted to progress my skills further. The course is hard work but it is really rewarding and lots of fun and our teachers are always there to help you over email. Power is my favourite part of maths, however, because I've never done statistics or mechanics before, I really enjoy learning those skills. Maths will really help me when I go to university because I wish to study either pharmacy or chemistry and maths are a requirement at A-levels. My advice is to go for it and just put in the hard work. Hi everyone, this is just a very short micro lesson. So thinking back to GCSE, you'll be familiar with expanding brackets. A plus B, A plus B squared using the FOIL method. So what about then A plus B cubed? Well, we know that A plus B cubed can be rewritten as A plus B times A plus B squared. Using the FOIL method, I found A plus B squared. I can expand and simplify, and then I get my answer. I can do the same with a plus b to the power of 4 and a plus b to the power of 5. So let's look more closely at our expansions. Can you see any patterns emerging? Pause the video and see if you can find three patterns. So firstly, you can see the coefficients of the first and last term of each expansion are equal to 1. We also notice as the powers of A decrease, the powers of B increase. And that's the same for all expansions. And lastly, the powers in each term add to make the power of the expansion we're looking for. So with A plus B to the power of 4, all my powers in each term add up to 4. So we can summarise our coefficients into Pascal's triangle. This is Blaise Pascal. He's a French mathematician in which our triangle is named after. So being able to expand a plus b to a given power is such a powerful tool. It has many real life applications. One of these being hypothesis testing, which is used widely in the medical industry and can help determine if a new medicine is effective or not. Thank you all. This was a small snapshot of AS Mathematics. Please look at our pre-reading team to look at the topics you should be confident with to give you the best start at AS Maths. We look forward to seeing you all soon.